Hi, this is Gordon Bond. I'm actually in my office today here at Bond Arms, and we're going to talk about ammo for Bond Arms handguns. Uh, we get a lot of calls for, for ammo uh, here at the shop. You know, what's the best? What should I use? What shouldn't I use? And so what we're going to do is we're going to go over some of the uh, things that we learned over the, the last many years. And one, one of the things that uh, uh, I'll just show you real quick, uh, this is the Snake Slayer. This is our most popular model. It has a three and a half inch uh, uh, barrel on it. And this is the Ranger 2 that has a four and a quarter inch barrel. And both of these guns are able to shoot any of this ammo. This is the uh, two and a half inch 410 with the triple lot buck. This is the uh, a two and a half inch with the number four shots. My display is a little messed up. It's a little old and, and we've used it quite a bit. This is a, a three inch shell from, from Winchester that shoots the uh, triple lot buck. This is the Winchester PDX with the uh, disc and the BBs. And here's the 45 Colt. Uh, you can put both of these, you can do both barrels with that, or you can do both barrels with 410, or you can do combination. And that's one of the first questions we get is, uh, do you have to switch barrels to do 45 Colt to the uh, 410s? The next question we get, and really probably more confusion than anything, is will it fit a 45 ACP round? And no, it won't, not with the uh, 410s. The the 45 Colt has a similar rim, as you can see, with the 410. So those two fit, and that's that's why we can do that. The 45 ACP, which is normally what you would shoot in a uh, 1911 type gun, semi-automatic. You can see how much smaller it is, and also it has a what they call a rimless which means the rim is actually flush to the casing, and so it won't chamber with the 410s. You would need to have, we have barrels that will shoot the 45 ACP in three inch, which are very popular. And actually it's one of, uh, one of my favorite rounds to shoot. And so hopefully that clears up a little bit of that confusion of 45 Colt and 45 ACP. 45 Colt can be shot with the 410 shells. The 45 ACP can't. So anyway, that's uh, one of the questions we get. One of the other questions we get is, uh, you know, uh, uh, my, my ammo is sticking. Why, why is that after I shoot it? And over the years, uh, we, we did a lot of investigation on that and, and asking people what kind of ammo they were shooting when, when they had sticking issues. And come to find out, most of the foreign 410 ammo sticks in our gun and the other guns that shoot this, like the uh, revolvers that are on the market that shoot the 410 and 45. And so um, our, our guns have actually, most of the specs have been done on Winchester and ammunition, and so you can't ever go wrong with that. Uh, but the Federal, the Winchester, the, uh, uh, the Remington, uh, the CCI, the Hornaday, you know, all of those are really nice brands that do really well in our gun, and we don't really have any sticking issues with, with those at all. And so we would recommend any of the American-made or U.S.-made uh, uh, ammunition for the gun. Most of the foreign ammunition, not so much. So uh, uh, if you're having sticking issues, uh, check to see what brand you have, and 10 to 1 is probably a, a foreign ammo. So anyway, the other question a lot of people ask is, uh, can, can I use a plus P or Corbon or 454 Casol in this type of gun? We do not recommend those at all because the high pressure, uh, this, this gun is a small gun, it's built to handle some pretty big calibers, but not really that high pressure loads uh, like the plus P or P plus P or the uh, 454 type Casso. Uh, uh, so, so uh, you know, we do not recommend those at all. Now, we, we have a lot of people asking us if we we're gonna do a 4570. Uh, we will probably never do a 4570 out of this gun. Other companies have attempted that, and they, they, they've had models like that, but that's really too brutal uh, for this size of a gun. And uh, that's, that's one reason why we, we don't have the 44 mag available with this type of gun either. So anyway, that's some of the big caliber questions. Um, one of the things, uh, uh, we, we, we do have 19 different barrels with 25 different caliber combinations, so it gives you a really wide variety of uh, calibers to, to choose from. Uh, probably 85% of our guns that go out are the 45 410s, and then it's up to you if you like to shoot 9 millimeters, you can get 9 millimeter barrels. If you shoot 357 or 38, you can do that, and they will shoot the uh, 38 or the 357 mags. Uh, this is the 22 mag, this is the 22 long rifle, uh, the 45 ACP, the 45 Colt, 
And you can also shoot out of the uh, 45 Colts and 410s the CCI shot shells. And a lot of people ask us, what's the best round for a snake or small rodent? And we actually recommend the CCI shot shells over the 410s. The 410s are really more personal protection type gun. Uh, but the, the uh, CCI has 150 number 9 BBs in it. And one shot, it has less recoil, and it'll literally shred a snake. And so uh, th these are very effective. Uh, uh, you know, so, so you know, it's a little bit overkill trying to kill a snake with a triple odd buck. Uh, the number four shot and the triple odd buck, those are usually more a personal protection type of a round. Um, now, with uh, one, one of the cool things about our gun, a lot of people say, well, you know, it only has two shots. They're very big shots. Uh, a lot of the carry guns these days are 380, and that's a 380. And you can see that the size of the 380 is approximately the same size, maybe a little smaller than the triple lot buck. And so, with one shot of the two and a half inch, you can have four shots coming out of there. So, if you shot two shots, you'd have eight rounds. So, you'd virtually empty a magazine uh, versus a 380 in a very short period of time versus trying to unload an, uh, the 380. So, uh, for for being a small gun, it carries big, very big rounds. So that's that's one reason why a lot of people have fun with it. It's sort of the preferred choice on when you want to go blow stuff up. So uh, hopefully that's answered a lot of the questions that you might have on this. Uh, you know, really depending on your situation, like on the personal defense side of things, if you're if you're you want the most power, this three inch with the five triple odd buck is a tremendous. Uh, personal defense load, but a lot of people the three inch uh, three inch magnum is uh, a handful, and so uh, if if that's too much for you, the two, they have plenty of two and a half inch uh, rounds out there that are built for handguns and personal protection, like the PDX round, very effective. Um, if you're in a situation where you don't want the triple op buck to go through the uh, sheetrock into another room where there may be someone, the number four shot or bird shot may be better because it won't really penetrate the, uh, uh, the sheetrock, but it will cover a whole doorway from your bed if that's uh, the situation that you're looking at. So anyway, um, we, we appreciate you guys and, and all the questions and comments that you've given us all over the years. Hopefully this answers a lot of your ammo questions. Uh, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to give me a call and we'll, we'll see what we can do to help you out because there always is new ammo coming out and some of it we've had a chance to test and some of it we haven't. So anyway, hey, well thanks for listening to us today and learning a little bit more about the ammo. Hey, have a great day and we'll see you on the next video.